Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the solution to the Hecker problem factorial equations which is the second problem of May 2nd 2020. So it's given in the problem that we are given with two numbers x and n and we have to find the last digit of the equation x to the power n factorial mod 10. So just ignore the divide, this confused me for a while. This divide is not there, simply x to the power n factorial mod 10. Now. So you can see that the constraints are n is 10 to the power 18 and x is 10 to the power 9. So obviously you can't simply calculate this, you cannot calculate n factorial because n is 10 to the power 18 and you cannot calculate x to the power like that. So let's just uh, take an example. So what we have to do in the question is uh, x to the power, basically x to the power n factorial mod 10. So this is what we have to calculate in the problem given x and n. Now, 10, any number say p modulo 10 will be 0 obviously if the number is divisible by 10, right? So if n is 5, then what will be 5 factorial? 5 factorial will be 5 uh, into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. And you can see that we have 2, we have into 5. So 5 factorial will be multiple of 10, right? So 5, facti uh, 5 factorial is multiple of 10 because 5 into 2 is coming. So 6 factorial will also be a multiple of 10. Why? Because it is simply 6 into 5 factorial and 5 factorial is a multiple of 10. Likewise, 7 factorial will be a multiple of 10. And likewise, any number for n greater than 5, uh, I'll just write it down. For n greater than 5, greater than equal to 5 actually, for n greater than equal to 5, n factorial is a multiple of 10. So quite simple, if n is uh, n is equal to 5 factorial is a multiple of 10. So this is quite simple, if n is greater than equal to 5, then n factorial will have 5 into 2 and it will be a multiple of 10. So meaning that if uh, n greater than 5, then n factorial mod 10 will be 0. So if n is greater than 5 and n factorial is a multiple of 10, then x n factorial modulo 10 is 0. So this is one case. I'll just write it like that. So I'll show you the code also. This is just pseudo code. So if n factorial is divisible by 10, then n factorial modulo 10 will be 0. And this is in the power of x. So x to the power we have n factorial modulo 10. So x to the power n factorial modulo 10 and n factorial modulo 10 is 0. So it will be x to the power 0. So the answer will be 1. So if n is greater than 5, then regardless of anything, uh, regardless of x, the answer will be 1. So if n is greater than 5, n factorial mod 10 will be 0 and x to the power 0, whatever x is, will be 1. So this is one case. Now the other case will be what if n is less than 5. So if n is greater than 5 then we have simply found our answer. If n is less than 5 then we can calculate factorial because n uh, can be maximum now 4 less than 5 and 4 factorial is e easy to calculate. So we'll just have factorial is equal to n factorial so we'll just store it. And now we, we have to calculate x to the power and now we have calculated n factorial. Now we'll simply do modulus of 10 with it, which can be, which will won't be 0. It can be anything. For example, like I said, n is equal to 4 factorial will give me fact as 4. So now we have simply calculated n factorial and calculated its modulo 10, which is there in fact now. Now simply we need to calculate x to the power of fact. But still there is one more thing to do because if you see in the problem, x is up to 10 to the power 9. And I have just have shown you that n factorial uh, or let's just say 4 factorial modulo 10 will be 4. So if I say 10 to the power 9 to the power 4, it will become 10 to the power 36, which won't be which you won't be able to calculate like or if it can get even bigger. So we don't need to actually calculate x to the power fact because like it says, we have to find the last digit of the given equation. So we found that the power is now n factorial modulo 10, which is fact. 
So instead of calculating x to the power of x, because we want last last digit of x to the power of x. So what we can do is we can we have to find find last digit of x to the power of x. So let's take an example. Suppose I have 199 and I want to find the last digit of 199 to the power 3. So do we do we really have to calculate 199 to the power 3? Because we only want the last digit. So what we can do is we can take the last digit of this, which is 9 here. So we can just take the last digit of 9 and we can do 9 to the power 3. And 9 to the power 3, as you know, will be 9. So we've got the last digit. Uh, you can take any example. If I want 395 and I want the power 3 of that, then I don't need to, if I want the last digit of this, then I don't need to actually calculate its power. I just need to take the last digit and calculate its power and the last digit of that will give me the last digit of what I wanted. So likewise, we want to find the last digit of x to the power factorial. So simply do x mod 10, which will give me say d x mod 10, which will give me the last digit of x. Now I do d to the power of x, d will be very less because it is just the last digit. It's only a single digit. And I can easily calculate d to the power of x, and I can simply take, uh, let's say, answer is equal to d to the power of x modulo 10. And that's all. Finally, you can print the answer. So, again, what we did was we saw that if n is greater than 5, then n factorial, n is greater than equal to 5, then n factorial will be a multiple of 10. So, multiple of 10 meaning that the whole power will become 0. And so, if n is greater than 5, greater than equal to 5, if n is greater than equal to 5, the next power 0 will be 1. Else, we can calculate what is there in the power, that is uh, n factorial mod 10, we can simply calculate that. And then we want to find x to the power of x last digit. So we take x's last digit and we do that to the power of x. And the last digit of that will be our final answer. So it's very easy. So I'll show you guys my code. So if n is greater than or equal to 5, so the answer is directly 1 as you can see. Otherwise, I've calculated the factorial and I've taken factorial modulo 10. So this right here is the power to calculate. So I'll just write it down. Power we have to find. And answer is 1 initially. With answer, I've calculated 1. And x is equal to x modulo 10 as we need only last digit. Like I've shown you, if you want x to the power of x last digit, just take x's last digit and make that to the power of x. So I'll fact uh, greater than 0. This With this, I'm calculating the power of the last digit of x. And finally, answer modulo 10 will give me the final answer. So that's all. I'll give you a link to my code in the description. So that's all. Thank you for watching.